are back. My next guest and I can be seen every Sunday through June 4th at the Comedy Studio in Boston. Please welcome the very funny Tony V. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good. Uh, for starters, please excuse my parents this evening, but uh, this is what I look like. You play the card you dealt, that's all I'm saying. When the world gives you lemons, keep them. Never know when you're going to run into some club soda or fish. Having a great week, you know what I discovered was uh, caffeinated water. Are you hip to this? It's the best thing that's happened to me. It's called uh, Crank 2-0. It's 100 milligrams of caffeine in pure crystal clear water. It has changed my life. I, uh, I like it a lot. Uh, I like it so much I started making my coffee with it. I go about 120 for days on end. Uh, sometimes I won't sleep for a week. I find that the possibilities are endless with caffeinated water, don't you? You could have caffeinated anything. Caffeinated soup, <laughs> caffeinated jello, <laughs> caffeinated decaf coffee. <laughs> you could really mess with your friends then. I'm a little jittery. You sure that was decaf? Well, the coffee was. <laughs> a little high strung to begin with. I got that road rage. You got it? Yeah. I got it all the time, though. I got it now. <laughs> I'm not even near my car, I want to kill one of you. I don't even care who, send somebody down. Cars are no, I was in my car last week and it broke down, which is the annoying part, I was in it. And uh, I was driving and the check engine soon light came on. It went, check engine soon, and it died. It gave me no time to check the engine soon. I was actually arguing with my automobile over its definition of soon. Surely it's more than a nanosecond. I was gonna check. I need a check engine now. Wait. Check engine, oh, too late. You know, being in New York, I didn't know anything about this, uh, that play Cats. Do you know that? Yeah. yeah. Longest running play in the history of plays. No play longer than that. Didn't know anything about it. I was watching a documentary. I was watching it for about 20 minutes, and it hit me. You know what it's about? Cats. <laughs> The dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Longest play in the history of plays. Singing cats. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Not even real cats. People dress like cats. I paid money to see real cats sing. <laughs> you know, rub them on the floor. So I'm not going to weigh in heavily on this Elian Gonzalez thing. I don't know where you fall politically on it, and I'm not going to point you one way or the other. This is the only thing I've come away with that whole situation. i got to think right now, the most scrutinized transaction on the planet has got to be boat sales in Cuba. <laughs> and what do you need the boat for? Uh, you know, nothing. We just thought maybe we'd do some donuts out in the harbor for a while, you know. Just, just a small boat, something for like 18 or 40 of my friends. Maybe a skidoo we could put a tub on. I'm, uh, I'm hooked on infomercials, I don't know if... Uh, yeah. My favorite TV on TV, I, uh, I, Ron Popeil, my favorite guy on the whole planet. He was the guy who convinced the bald people they could spray paint their head and look pretty nifty. <laughs> Yeah, no, you look natural. You weren't thinking about going out in the rain real quick, were you? <laughs> Last year he had the uh, food dehydrator, which is my favorite item. Where he convinced you to dry your own food at home. And he's so good, he's so sincere, he convinces you you should. <laughs> I was watching one night, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning, he looks right at the television, he goes, How much did you spend on jerky last year? <laughs> To be honest with you folks, I don't think I spent a nickel on jerky. But he's so good, he's convinced me I'm spending too much on jerky. 
It's two o'clock in the morning. I'm, I'm, I'm checking receipts. I'm looking through my wastebasket. I'm yelling at my wife. Honey, you're killing us with the jerky. You gotta calm down. The kids won't be able to go to school. And then, this is my favorite part. Like 20 minutes into this thing, he looks at the TV again. Sincere. Yes. You like raisins? <laughs> Why, yes, I do. How, how astute of you to know? He goes, well, with this machine, in a day and a half, you can have raisins. <laughs> a day and a half. There are raisins, for the love of Pete, I can have them right now. I got I got a cupboard full of them. They cost like a buck a box. Now I gotta start planning my raisin consumption two days ahead of time. Uh, uh, Thanks a lot. You've been really nice. Thank you. Good night. Hey. That was great. Thank you. Tony Vee.